hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video we are checking how we can use a jwt token in uh, asp.net core 7 so uh, here we have this api project in asp.net core 7 and then we have one web project in asp.net core 7 okay so uh, we will see how we can generate a jwt token and how we can verify that okay so um, we have two separate projects here okay so now uh, in the api project where you want to create the api token okay so in that project uh, we have to go to project and manage nugget packages so uh, here we have to install package uh, this one so microsoft.asp.net core uh, dot authentication dot jwt bearer so this package we will install here uh, in this project and then we have to install this uh, system dot identity model dot tokens dot jwt so um, we will install these two packages in our api project now in the api project we will go to program dot cs file and here we have to add this code so basically this will add authentication which says it will use jwt authentication and then here are some properties that we will set so here we are using a uh, secret key so uh, this is secret key uh, you can keep in web config and use from there okay so on this part we will use and we have to add the two namespaces here okay so uh, once you do that now we can go to the api controller and so the first part is always to generate the api token first and then we have to use that in the next api call to verify okay so uh, we have this generate jwt token method here and currently we are just requiring the username and we are pass passing that in the claim types so you can add more information here uh, so here you will see that we have used the key here okay so this should be the same key uh, which we have used in the program.cs file okay so it should be the same key now going back to the controller so here this is the login method okay so we will call this with username and password here we are checking if the username and password are correct then if those are correct then we are generating the token okay so you can modify this code to work with the database okay and if the token is generated then we are returning back the token okay uh, so now we will go back to the web project where we will consume this okay so in the web project we have this uh, index method which will, will be called when we will run the application so here we are calling that login api okay so we are passing the username password which are correct okay and then it will return back the token which we are storing so we have created one model here jwt auth so which basically have only one field token okay so we are using that to decentralize the object now we have the token so what i am doing is we are setting that in the response cookies so once you set that in the cookies you can use that anywhere uh, in the next api calls okay so now we will use that in the second api call so here you can see that we have created one more method uh, which we will uh, use to call the second api okay and here we are setting the authorization bearer token over here in the request headers and then we are calling the api okay so if you go back to the api controller here we have used this authorized attribute okay so this authorized attribute will basically uh, verify that the token is valid and if it is valid then it will uh, return back the data from here okay so uh, we will put some debuggers here and then i will just run the application okay so i will just run the application and we will see how it will work So uh, don't you worry about the code part we will provide you the direct link for the code uh, in the end of the video so uh, you just continue watching and we will uh, give you the code part also so guys here you can see that in the index method we have here 
okay so here we are calling the api login api and that will return back the so here it will generate the token okay now this is the api controller okay so it will return back the token and then we are getting the token and setting that in the cookies okay so this uh, then it will load the page so this is the page now here i have added this link so that will call the second method which will use that token so here we get the token from the cookies and then we are setting that in the request headers so you can see that uh, it has authorized the token and that's why it is returning the data from here okay so just to make you sure what we will do is so we will just see the response here okay so in the content you see that we have the data returned from the controller okay so uh, just for your uh, knowledge we will just do one more try and this time we will uh, make some mistake in the token so in that case it should not uh, reach to the api so we will just change any letter or something here so we will make some changes okay so now this token is not valid so we will set that in the api and this time if you call it will not reach to the api controller so if you check the response here it is saying unauthorized okay and in the end you will see that says invalid token so basically it is verifying that the token is valid or not so that's how it is working so this happens because we are using this authorize here and that authorize works with the program.cs file where we have added that the authentication must be jwt token okay so here we are specifying that authorize will use this authentication and that's how it is working so now uh, if you need the code part then what you can do is you can go to our official website you can also uh, click on the direct link from the description of the video so here if you will scroll down you will be able to see the blog how to implement jwt token in asp.net core 7 you can open up this blog and uh, here you will be able to uh, see the code that i just showed in the video and you can also download the direct attachment from here by clicking on this button subscribe and download so and that's how you can download the code okay so thank you thanks you guys and let us know if you face any kind of issue so uh, thanks for watching